guys, it's Power for Network here for another video. Today I'm going to be ranking the two newest uh, Battlefront, Battlefronts, Battlefront 2015 and Battlefront 2017. Alright, starting out with the second Battlefront, Battlefront 2018, or 2017. It's more like 2018, kind of, because it was released in October. But one, it has really good graphics, and two, there's a class system. I don't really like some of the maps like crate because then it's just a sniping map and you and like both sides just can snipe but mostly be mostly because uh the like there's not much cover for the uh first order the rebel alliance or the resistance has more cover so they can snipe more so yeah that's basically what i like in this game also, the weapons and the attachments that they patch the kill amount, which is actually really, really quite convenient, because I just got a bunch of attachments, and I also just got, I just finished the TL-50 unlocks, which I got all the unlocks, or attachment unlocks, for the TL-50, and now we're going to work on the SE-44C. We are almost done with it, but... We can uh, still do some some stuff with it. But yeah, guys, let's go on to the first battlefront. Let's talk about the first battlefront. So I like that you had to you got to do private matches, and you could have any game mode like the offline modes. And also, I like the hero selection that they had. Except Bosque was a little OP, but servers are going down in May, so I mean, yeah, or March, something. I don't I don't know, but. Well, and you had to get hero pickup, which I really didn't like about that. So, I mean, it's really not that fun because there's no skill required. And I like to actually show that I have skill and I not, I'm not a noob. But I also wish they had clan, like you could make clans and customize stuff more. But I feel like, well, yeah, some of the heroes were a little bit OP. So that's what I didn't like. And, what else? I like the weapon, the weapon, like, you could have, like, star cards, but you couldn't switch it in-game. Yeah, guys, let's do, let's go on to the, which one is better. Personally, I think that the first one was better just because the private matches and it was more interactive. With You could interact more with your friends. But, like, most of the, the stuff was that it was a little bit OP for some stuff. Like, some of the weapons were a little bit OP. And there was no, like, skill required to play. But you guys, see you in the next video. Bye!